Okay. Hello, everybody. I'm Travis Tripp with Nikhil Komawar as co-PTLs for Project Searchlight. And we are here today to provide an overview of Searchlight for the Liberty release. Nikhil will start us off with some background. I'll cover a few of the Searchlight concepts before going into the Liberty priorities. And then Nikhil will finish things off. So with that, I'll turn it on over to you, Nikhil. Thanks, Travis. Hello, everyone. This is Nikhil. Um, I will briefly discuss about some related developments that happened in Kilo. Um, next slide, please. Yes, so what are we trying to accomplish in this program? As you can see, uh, we have advanced and scalable indexing and search um, capability uh, planned across multi-tenant cloud resources. Next slide, please. And so uh, going to some of the background behind uh, behind this uh, accomplished um, and mission, or you can call it uh, our goal for this cycle um, and possibly extend it uh, in the future. So there have been a, a, a lot of interest and demand from operators and developers equal uh, for a search provisioning within the OpenStack ecosystem. You may be aware about the new features that were introduced in Glance namely metadata artifacts. Um, these are metadata-rich uh, uh, features, and they can really benefit uh, by coexisting with such a service for better, better look, lookup of entities uh, that they provide. Um, another reason um, behind this uh, spin-off of clients and other uh, infrastructure as services do not necessarily focus on the usability aspect. Uh, there can be a reason for bad usable, uh, usability experience due to uh, either more number of uh, queries, API calls, uh, or those calls can be expensive uh, from the perspective of usability. Um, next slide, please. Yeah, so we started uh, this um, goal in a, a slow and steady manner. We tried to um, do an experimental feature in Glance uh, within the Kilo release uh, time frame, uh, we were able to accomplish uh, something called a catalog index service. Um, so the reason we called it catalog index service was Glance uh, supported some of the cataloging features, and then we wanted to accomplish uh, better lookup and indexing of those entities. So as a stat, we uh, provided indexing and search for images as well as metadata definitions, and they were backed by the Elastic Search. Uh, backend. The uh, search provisioning was given using a separate deployable optional endpoint. It was optional in DevSec so that people could experiment and figure out if they liked it. Um, and it turned out to be a really popular feature. As you can see, we had a good number of contributors and reviewers, and seven different companies had participated in the same. Next slide, please. So we had uh, good discussions um, uh, during the during the summit as well as in the uh, Garrett review. Um, there were multiple requests, and um, some of the discussions led to um, the the concept of spinning this off as a separate project, expanding its scope. Um, so um, Travis had a great demo at the summit. Um, you can find the link um, in the slide. So. We had some discussions at the Glance as well as Horizon Fishwall sessions. There were some discussions with the NOVA PTL on uh, being able to provide indexing for NOVA uh, entities. So um, follow-up was a credit review where uh, the technical committee had um, almost unanimously voted for this project and we got it approved. And we are set to um, make some exciting developments in the Liberty cycle. So I will let Travis go over some of the con background concepts as well as the priorities for Liberty. Thanks, Nikhil. Uh, you can go to the next slide. So let's start off by covering, covering some of the ideas of what Searchlight provides. Across the OpenStack service APIs, you'll find varying degrees of consistency, capabilities, and performance when it comes to searching resources. With Searchlight, we want to provide the full power of Elasticsearch while also ensuring all the proper RBAC is enforced. You can go to the next slide. So 
It is based, uh, Elasticsearch is based on Apache Lucene and Searchlight is based on Elasticsearch. And this gives us a lot of query power with a lot of exciting features. So some of the more exciting features that, that we have is we're actually going to be able to do full text search on any OpenStack resource and on any attribute of that OpenStack resource that has been indexed in. Uh, this leads to being able to do search term faceting. So if I want to search on a very specific attribute with some uh, very interesting queries like ranges or or wildcards or other things, I'll be able to do that on any resource that's been indexed in. Uh, you also get things like search auto completion. So if I start typing a term, I might be able to do uh, term completion or phrase completion. And those are things that are optionally enabled um, underneath the covers uh, using Elasticsearch. Uh, we also have the ability to actually limit the properties we care about. So if you do a search and you only want to get back, say, five properties on, say, all the instances, you can say, I only want these five properties. Uh, one of the cool things is another thing called fuzzy search. So if you were to be looking for Fedora and you mistype it and say, uh, transpose that R and O, you can actually do fuzzy search and it would still return your results, uh, giving you the proper results. And there's a more like this feature. So you can go to the next slide. Let's cover a little bit of the, the concept flow. So if we start down in the bottom right with your native cloud services like Nova and Glance, they have various resources like instances and images. We can index those in on demand into Searchlight um, using a plugin mechanism that knows what to index that also includes the various RBAC properties or things that are needed to uh, perform the RBAC needed. That gets stored into the underlying Elasticsearch cluster. Next, when Horizon and other clients want to come in and do listing and querying requests, they can send in a native Elasticsearch query string. This goes into Searchlight. The plugins ensure that that query string, based off that type of resource being requested, gets the appropriate filters to get your, your RBAC query into Elasticsearch to limit your results. And they also have the ability to filter uh, data on the way back out if that's desired. Um, next, if you want to actually deploy, say, an instance or instantiate an instance, you still would go against your native, uh, say, Nova API, your native cloud service API. And what happens is, since we're listening for notifications, we will get updates and we'll keep that index as up-to-date as those notifications come in through the system. So if an instance is created, uh, a notification can be generated, which then is consumed by Searchlight, which will then index into the underlying data store. So let's go to the next slide. So when do you use it? Well, you can use it when it's there. It is optional. The idea is it's a per region endpoint deployment. It's listed in the service catalog under the search type. Um, and when you're going to query and list your resources, you simply check to see is the search service available for the type of resource that you are carrying to query for. If it is, you use the search service. If not, you can use a standard API. And our goal is to provide result objects that will be as similar as possible, if not the same, as, as uh, the standard API results. So then you can display and use those results accordingly. Okay, next slide. Okay, so what's coming next? Jump on to the next slide. So for Liberty, um, we've been working on completing the separation from Glance. The whole project is set up. Garrett, uh, all the other associated systems are set up now. So there is an actual project, uh, repo, everything's imported into OpenStack. Uh, we're working on various deployment options, manual and dev stack. Um, both of those we already have working in their initial phases. Um, we're finishing out glance image and metadata definition indexing. Uh, we're starting work uh, on Nova indexing of instances, flavors, and metadata. And we are looking into the initial integration with Horizon. So with that, we'll be looking at being able to optionally enable searching within Horizon uh, for the images table, the instances table, but also potentially in other interesting ways across Horizon. We're looking to improve the testing that came out of Glance under the previous feature in Glance, as well as improving the documentation. Next slide. 
We have some additional blueprints underway. Uh, designate plugin is being developed now. It's uh, got some very nice progress. We're doing some investigation into Neutron for what it would mean to index that, as well as Swift, meta, Swift metadata. Uh, another interesting concept that we're investigating is the ability to have the plugins define their own named queries. So, of course, we want to give the full power of Elasticsearch, but we also recognize that you may want to get the benefits of Elasticsearch at speed and some of the power without having to know the full query language. So we're, we're investigating ways that that could be incorporated, that the plugins could advertise pre-established uh, named queries for quick querying. Okay, next. And speaking of the plugins, we're looking to really make that pattern more established. So there's things that we are looking into like uh, handling API versioning across the services, how to uh, properly do plugin configuration for each plugin, and other best practices that can come from uh, the plugin framework, which is, by the way, based off of Stevedore. So uh, I think we can go to the next slide, and I think I'll turn it back over to you, Nikhil. Thanks, Travis. Um, so we, as you, as you are already um, seen that we have spun off a new project. We have uh, contributors who were interested in developing this under glance, but we, st we have still uh, seen enough number of uh, interest as a separate project. Uh, three different companies are participating. 12 cores are uh, existing in the credit uh, group at the moment. And we are looking for interested po folks. So uh, if you are, um, if you want to join us, or if you are interested in becoming core or a driver, um, the following slide has some information. Next slide, please. So you can send an email to the open sector mailing list. The tag is searchlight. Uh, you can all, always join us on IRC on OpenStack app and searchlight, or you can join us in any of the meetings. Next slide, please. Thank you. Yes, thank you very much.